What's up fam and welcome back for another tech video. So and if you happen to be new here, welcome to my channel and if uh, you happen to like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button uh, for more content just like this. Anyway, today we're going to be answering a question I've gotten a lot since making all of my previous Dell Optiplex videos that you might have seen on the channel before. Uh, that question is, will a GTX 1660 6GB work in a Dell Optiplex? Well, today we're going to answer that question, hopefully, and get some benchmark numbers for those of you that may be interested in this configuration. But first, are you tired of having that pesky watermark down in the corner of your desktop? Well, today's sponsor, URCD Key, can help you. URCD Key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices with Windows 10 OEM and retail as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in the product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, and then type in my promo code RAV20 and see the sweet savings appear. But wait, PayPal isn't working for you? You just need to scroll down to the bottom right, click this link right here, and make sure you use that promo code they give you at checkout, and PayPal should work like a charm. Check the links in the video description to learn more. All right, now let's get started with the first factor you need to take a look at when trying to run a GTX 1660 with a Dell Optiplex, and that is the power draw. The 1666 gig model will generally be pulling 130 watts. And once you factor in the power draw of the Optiplex and couple it with that of the 1660 we just mentioned, I figured out that this should only be pulling about 10 more watts than when I ran the GTX 1060 six gig card in it, when you guys may have seen that video. So it actually would be kind of actually okay with the stock 290 watt PSU that happens to come in most of these Optiplexes. Although not all the Optiplexes come with the 290 watt power supply, so if you have to have like the 265 watt power supply to be safe you may want to replace that either with an upgraded dell psu out of one of their workstations like we have here in the studio and i used it in my old videos uh, it supplies about 365 watts of power and it actually has a six pin pcie power cable too um, or you can simply purchase a new power supply with higher wattage and grab one of those 24 pin adapters off amazon to make it compatible with the optiplex motherboard so since we now have the power draw figured out we need a way to to actually supply that power to the card, right? So um, this model of 1660 requires a single eight pin PCIe connector to supply that power from the power supply to the card. So in order to do this, I found a SATA to eight pin adapter off Amazon that works like a charm. I've used these a bunch of times in the Optiplex builds. I've used the six pin one and the eight pin one we have here. And all you have to do is connect it to a SATA power connection from the Optiplex and then run the eight pin to the card. It's as simple as that. And just a quick note real quick on how this card fits into this Optiplex 3020 that I have right here. Um, it actually fits in there perfectly, like almost like a glove. Uh, even with that metal back plate that this 1660 has, the only hindrance is that back latch on the back of the uh, Optiplex, but honestly, it's nothing to worry about and won't affect the operation of the card at all. So with the card installed, we just need to boot the system up and see if it posts. And would you look at that, boom, it sure does. We're ready to grab the latest drivers from NVIDIA now and get those things installed and get this card running. And now with the latest drivers on board, we're ready to test this sucker out. And I'll tell you right now from my experience, just a little thought right here. Um, I'm already expecting a bit of bottlenecking in certain titles, especially on the CPU side. But uh, yeah, I'll explain more when we get to them because this seems to keep happening with higher end cards uh, as you keep moving up the ladder with these Optiplex builds. And now the system we're gonna be running today is as follows. The base system is like I said, it's an Optiplex 3020. So for the CPU, we have a Core i7-4770 with eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. And of course, the GTX 1660 six gigabyte powered by a 365 watt power supply out of a Dell Precision workstation. And now let the benchmarks begin.
right, now to wrap this up, you guys, I hate to say it, but I was pretty spot on with my expectations for this card and this system. So it performs very well in the games we tested at 1080p, but it's basically topping out of the performance of the CPU we have in there. As I'm sure you guys saw, Tomb Raider, as always, uh, it showed us that it was using much more CPU power than GPU to render the frames in that game, which usually indicates that a newer, better CPU would give a bit more of that work to the GPU, resulting in higher frames. Now, this is not to say there's anything wrong with this config at all, though. It's still a very viable option for people just breaking into PC gaming and can be had for actually a very low price, somewhere around $350 or less if you can get some good deals. I'd say not bad at all. So what do all you think? Would you build one of these like I did right here? Um, or am I just downright nuts for even testing a freaking 1660 in an Optiplex? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, and while you're down there, be sure to go ahead and like the video if you actually enjoyed it as well. Oh, and as always, all the parts and accessories I use to make this build possible will be in the description for you so they're really easy to find. And lastly, if you're not already part of the Visuals Fam and you wanna get in here and enjoy the fun with all the rest of your Visuals fam members, then go ahead and consider subscribing and turning those notifications on for all of my newest videos and all of my upcoming streams. Take care, everyone, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.